guys, this is Pamela, your stylist chica, and I'm excited to show you uh, what I came up with, what I designed, or I, I should say what I altered, um, and it's a makeup station because um, I have all my makeup scattered all over in my bathroom and it drives me insane. Um, it's, and I'm the type of person that I like to have uh, clear countertops. And so, and every time I'm in a hurry, I can never right, find the right product. So I wanted to put my makeup all in one area. And especially to keep my boys away from my makeup and um, they just pick up my bottles and they ended up scatter, scattering them and taking them to different rooms. So I wanted to make sure that I had a special area just dedicated to my makeup. And, um, and it's a rolling cart that I ended up buying from Ikea. So I'll get to show you that in a few minutes. But I wanted to show you how I changed up the design a little bit and how to put my own stamp on it. So my own design stamp on it. And so I went and purchased these uh, clear trays um, from Target and they were $12.99 each. And they're called Vanity Organizers. They're right there, right there. And um, then I went and purchased um, some spray adhesive that you can buy at your local hobby store and um, some premium uh, wrapping paper. And I ended up buying two kinds, uh, hot pink, almost like a fuchsia color, and it's a crocodile print, and then a leopard print. Well, first, what you do is you trace out your tray, and um, then cut out the cut out the wrapping paper, and then spray your adhesive, and immediately, uh, immediately apply the wrapping paper on it because um, you don't want to create any bubbles. But once the wrapping paper is um, on it, it's not going anywhere. It's not sliding anywhere. I mean, it, it does a really good job. So um, so then the shelf that I purchased at Ikea, um, rolling cart, comes with three removable trays right here. Stanley steel. And it's cool because if you didn't want to go and purchase or spend more money on these clear uh, trays, then you could just put your makeup on these um, trays, stainless steel trays. But what I wanted to do was um, I needed some more support for my makeup, especially for the taller um, bottles for my makeup. So that's why I went and purchased the trays. But um, this is also nice because you can, you know, clean it and and there's three of them. So I'll show you the cart. This is my IKEA cart, which I love, and I'm gonna show you um, how I sorted out my makeup. So on the bottom tray is where all my foundations and my favorite trinket from New York City is where I'm holding all my um, pencils. The second one right here is holding um, my uh, bronzers, uh, powders, and um, my blushes. And this top one holds all my um, eyeshadows, palettes, and I thought I had makeup, a lot of makeup, but it's given me a reason to go buy more makeup to fill it up. So I still have plenty of room for it. And also, this one holds one of my um, uh, eyeshadow palettes as well. It has a top tray and it's removable. And this is where I'm storing all my um, lipsticks and this is where the concealer's going here and my lip glosses. So I love it and I'm also going to go back and purchase these little pockets that you can hang from the uh, side on each side and these will go back in there and then I'm pretty sure I'll be able to fill it up with something else in here. But this is it guys, this is my makeup cart right here. Thank you. I also wanted to show you where and how I store my makeup brushes and this is actually Letty's idea and she made a post on it on our blog. And if uh, you look right here, it's these three mason jars. And I also actually was going to go and purchase these mercury jars that I was going to store my makeup brushes in. But then I went looking around the house and I didn't want to spend any money. So I came up with this idea, well I let this idea, and I found these mason jars and I actually had these, uh, these little miniature little silver rocks right here. Filled it in and you could fill it in with rice or or um, sugar or salt, whatever you have available. But I had these already in my pantry. So, and then I also had these little tags that are chalkboard little tags, and I attached two of them. And this is how I came up with this cute little idea. That, and it all started from Letty's blog. 
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful for a makeup station. And um, for instructions and pictures, please visit our website at fashionhomelife.com. And I hope you like this video and subscribe to us at Fashion Home Life. Thank you. Besitos.